Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And what is the most likely outcome between Capricorn and the person you're dealing with? What the fuck? I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry of yours. Really sorry. But when I tell you, right, what it is, you're going to be like, bro, are you drunk? No, I'm not. I'm not drunk. This reading is insane. Okay, it's fucking like, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Overall situation, nothing is happening right now. All right, baby, nothing is happening right now. You're not moving forward. You're not moving backward. There could be a breakup. There could be a separation here. A temporary break between you guys right now. I totally get it. But what's coming in for you? Dude, it's going to be insane. All right. So right now you could find yourself in a situation where you're very trapped. Okay. A lot of uncertainty, directionless. Okay. There could be a situation where you probably just let go of this connection. Okay. You've just released this connection. Why? Because you just feel that this is all that I could do with this connection. And there is not anything else that I can do out here. Okay. Which is why you've probably just moved forward out here. Okay. You've just like let it go. And you're like, you know what? With a very heavy heart, you're like, that's all that I could have done. And it is what it is. Maybe it's time for me to leave. Maybe it's just no point pushing things. Okay. And I just feel that you have just moved on. Okay. You've just released this connection here. Because th this could have been, it's more like a sacrifice. You know, it's like I want this. But uh, the more resistance I have to uh, the universe, about, like the universe has a certain way to make things happen. Whether it is in your favor, not in your favor is a different story. But right now it's like you are making a sacrifice. You're sacrificing this connection right now. Okay. You're releasing this connection right now. And it's like you're literally surrendering to the natural flow of life, flow of this connection right now and just trusting the universe. Like, you know what? If there is something that's got to be happen between us, it's okay. If it's not, never mind, things are not working out. I'm just going to go on a break or I'm just going to completely let this relationship go. The person you're dealing with, <clears throat> let's talk about you first. Uh, I think you are right now very, very focused on bettering yourself. You could be focused on your career. You could be focused on your finances. You could be focusing on your health, your fitness. But overall, I see a, a situation where you're just so concentrated, concentrated on yourself. Okay, you're no longer interested in this connection. It's more like you're like, I'm going to put in all the hard work. You know, you're probably very focused on every detail about, you know, being very detail oriented here. But uh, it's like a lot of hard work, a lot of persistence, a lot of consistency from your side on working on yourself, you know, and indirectly, indirectly by working on yourself and making yourself a better person out here, you're indirectly working on this connection. The person you're dealing with with the King of Cups here is someone here who loves you very, very much. This is someone here who has a lot of love for you, but... You're dealing with someone here who probably has a lot of love for you, but this person out here is, um, how do I say this? They're, um, they're not ready to express the way they feel. So right now you may feel that this person that you're dealing with, right, uh, has no feelings for you, all right, because they don't express it even when you're with them. Now, whether you're in a connection or not in a connection, take it how it resonates. Even if you're in a connection, the way you need to interpret it as that, things, so even if you are in a relationship, Things are not moving forward. It's just where it is. If you're not in a relationship, take it that way. That things are not moving forward and everything's stuck and stagnant here. So even if you're in a connection with this person out here, this person has a lot of deep feelings for you. Okay. A lot of love here. But that's a very shy king. That's a very non-expressive person that you're dealing with. Okay. So this person chooses to express only half the feelings. Okay. And uh, this is someone here who thinks it's very wise. Like it's very smart and intelligent to control their emotions and be very, very careful about what they're wanting to say to you. Okay. So someone very balanced out here. They have their head and heart in balance. Very mature, very nice, uh, a good friend to be around. But you'll never be able to figure out if this person loves you or how much they love you because they're not the best at expressing. You could be someone more expressive, which is why you probably even view them like that. Now, <clears throat> how they view this connection is with the Empress here. This person sees you as someone here where you're growing, okay? You're the Empress out here. Now, it does not have to matter whether you're a girl or a boy, but overall, this person sees you in your power. They see you doing your own thing. They see you loving and taking care of yourself, okay? You've you, you completely switched yourself uh, going into self-love, 
all right which is coming off as very 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 insanely attractive to this person okay because you're like i don't give a fuck you're no longer chasing this relationship you're no longer chasing this person you could have stopped dreaming about this person you could have stopped manifesting this person more than anything i feel you're just very focused on something else out here now this else i'm going to find out but this could be probably another relationship could be uh pursuing other people or uh, probably regardless as long as you're not pursuing this person out here that's how this person sees you because they are energetically feeling you pulling away from them okay and more like you are just like giving to yourself okay you could be giving they could be giving you could be giving them the gold shoulder okay but they see you as this beautiful empress beautiful marriage material that is slipping away from that <laughs> and what you're doing right now how you view this connection as with the temperance here you're being very balanced see how beautiful you're coming off as you view this connection as later for i'm okay on my own i don't need this person anymore even if you do it's like you know what you have a very long term vision you want harmonious relationships so it's like you know what i think that earlier if you were holding a grudge against them you know if, if there was bad blood between you guys or you know something left a bad taste in your mouth it's all like calming down you know you're taking a very cool calm collected approach to the situation like all right that's fine if it didn't work out maybe there's something better out there for me good luck to them i have my best wishes with them something like that if you're not doing this even if you're waiting for this person that anxiety isn't there you're not like imbalanced you're not over indulging into something say over indulging into stalking them spying them say probably over indulging into alcohol or just desperately trying to know what's going on with them no no you're more into wanting a long term solution rather than wanting something quick you know mother like tell me is it a fucking yes or a no no that's not what you're doing you've just let this relationship flow you know like it's just like it's flowing like a river out here <clears throat> now like i said <laughs> the root of the issue out here is that you probably move forward or you're choosing to move forward if in a, if you haven't moved forward here i do see that you have probably put a physical and mental distance between you both out here okay but there is this sense of like you know what i just got to move forward out here i can't do this anymore you know maybe there is this sense of where um, i want to be calm i need to get into calmer waters i don't want to be in this turbulent relationship or in a relationship that is causing so much of mental stress anxiety and turbulence in my life okay with a very heavy heart there are chances you're moving on or you're moving away from this connection all right now this is why i was like what the fuck okay the overall energy out here is the high priestess here which means that there is a lot that is going on behind the scenes you are probably trusting your intuition if you're not trust your intuition there's a lot of messages that are coming out towards you maybe you're not ready to see the messages or maybe you are misinterpreting the messages that are coming in for you whatever it is trust your intuition and i feel that your intuition is telling you that this person is coming back with some solid stable committed and probably because you don't trust it because this person could have fucked up many times that's why you don't trust it and which is why you're like you know what fuck it it's the what happening and you're not trusting your intuition here but <clears throat> there has been an ending out here okay and with the ending out here that is going to be clarity all right so there is going to be a brand new beginning between you and the person you're dealing with okay and this beginning is with this person out here the ace of swords is a very beautiful energy where it's like you know what you have clarity you have the truth here you know there is going to be clear communication it's black and white no more 50 shades of gray all right there's no gray out here it's only black or it's white all right so it's like a yes or a fucking no the ace of swords is an energy where you get the kind of clarity but that kind of clarity is something where you know what all right this is the information that is available to you now what do you want to do next is this information enough or not enough is this information uh no so this information will give you the clarity of whether you want to continue being with this person and start a brand new beginning with them with transparency or if you finally have your closure and you want to move on it's going to be up to you all right it's going to be different for every capricorn now what action they take towards you is the king of pentacles here okay so this person out here this time around here this person is being very very um <coughs> stable they are probably feeling that they have everything out here but this person here is coming towards you with that spouse energy with an energy where they want to be with you where they want to marry you they want to commit to you okay this person is being very practical very realistic 
Yes, could be someone who is very focused on their work. Yes, but at the same time out here, this person is definitely someone who's got their, uh, yes, not very emotional. We already know that the person you're dealing with is not the most emotional person that you're dealing with. But this is someone who is coming towards you wanting something long term out here. Okay, could be marriage, could be commitment. Now, if you're already in a relationship with this person here and things are stuck and stagnant, they want to take things to the next level. All right. Uh, at least their mindset is like that. And if you are away from them, then this person is coming back around in their actions out here. Your actions towards them is the Queen of Pentacles. See, this is why I said, what the fuck? We have the King and Queen of Pentacles here, bro. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? We don't even have like a different suit of uh, suit out here where you're the King of Pentacles and they're the Queen of Wands or they're the Queen of Pent King of Wands and you're the Queen. No, this is a true pair situation. This is putting in the relationship into 3D level, getting the relationship into a realistic mode where you have a tag on the connection, you have a label on the connection and where you are finally going to get, you know, that, that, that confirmation, that commitment. This is no more wanting that desire to commit to you. It is more like I am committing to you. I want you. I want to marry you. I want to be with you. Let's let everyone know. I have made up my mind. The likely outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. So yes, this person, <coughs> I would have been like pretty upset if the likely outcome would have been different. But with the Ace of Pentacles out here, uh, from this person that you're dealing with out here, who is going to come towards you and offer you something stable, secure, committed, and long-term, and this person is going to offer you something very, very grounded. And believe me, you are not expecting this. You are not expecting this, okay? Let's see. <clears throat> uh, where's the hangman here? Let's start for the hangman. Page of Wands. See, what did I tell you? They're coming in. They're coming in with communication here. Now, this person could be someone who wasn't taking that leap of faith on this one. Okay, maybe because they thought you were risky business. Maybe they wanted to stick to their comfort zone. Maybe they had lack of commitment. Okay, but now this person here is coming in feeling very motivated, very enthusiastic out here. Okay, they want to try a new approach towards you. They want to reignite the spark between you both here. Travel and adventure is on the card, so maybe they want to travel with you here, okay? But uh, yes, I wouldn't tell you that the communication that's coming in is more like, okay, baby, let's get, you know, let's get moving. I want to marry you. No, that's not what I'm saying. The communication, the way it's going to come in, it's going to be like someone who does not fear change anymore, okay? Someone very optimistic about wanting this opportunity with you. But yes, this is a free thinker out here. I wouldn't be worried because the action and the outcome is beautiful. So I wouldn't be worried, but there is a new exciting phase coming in your love life from this person out here. Okay, this person is flirty, so they will flirt with you. Uh, but uh, their approach towards you is going to be very lighthearted. Nothing to worry about. Okay, but if this is not this person, then there could be someone that is coming towards you. Okay, you know how that is, right? But <clears throat> yeah, see, after a heartbreak, this person's coming towards you. Okay, this person's coming towards you after a heartbreak. So if you've gone through a breakup, a separation or there was uh, some kind of stress involved but you know both where where mean things or bad words not bad words but mean words were said or uh, spoken or something very mean was done you broke their heart they broke your heart if this is the kind of connection you are in right now there is communication coming in okay it's coming in uh let's see what's the uh, king of cups what's the king of cups whoa 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 buddy we have the king of pentacles here. This person has a lot of disappointment, but they're trying to walk away from the disappointment. So there could be something where things didn't work out your way or their way, okay? But this person knows that they have disappointed you, okay? You probably trusted them a lot and there was a lot of disappointment, okay? And this person he was uh, probably felt you were emotionally disappointed with them, okay? But they were very sad. They felt something was destroyed out here. But now I feel this person, the emotions are flowing back, okay? The emotions are flowing back, okay? There's going to be... Um, um, you know, more like a reconciliation energy from this person here where you know what, I want to keep what happened in the past, let it be, and let's just move forward. Eight of Pentacles, why is this here? <coughs> why is Eight of Pentacles here? What are the Eight of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. I've never had a king and queen together, see? You miss this person out here, okay? <coughs> You do miss this person out here. You do want a reconciliation maybe. But there's a lot of nostalgia, okay? You miss the good times you had with this person here. You do feel this person is your soulmate twin flame out here. But I don't know why. <clears throat> Something tells me that you are not focused on this relationship. It tells me you're not focused on this connection, okay? 
uh, it's more like because um, <coughs> uh, because probably you know you're bored or you're just disinterested so there is an opportunity coming from this person's side out here the universe probably there are a lot of options also okay a lot of options around you where you can date someone else or you can meet new people here either you're disinterested in those options or you were wanting things a certain way but unfortunately it didn't work out your way here regardless okay there is no move no action from your side here you miss the pass out here but you still want to keep working on yourself focusing on yourself six of swords why is this here why is the six of swords here as the root of the issue <clears throat> you have a wish coming through baby you have a wish coming through here all right uh, a lot of love coming in from this person out here this person loves you very very deeply all right this person here is someone who's very emotional you know but uh, we have the king and queen also now all right we have, first we have the king and pen, king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles now we have the king of cups and the queen of cups here so much of deep love and warmth okay you love this person so much here okay but there are chances you were too sensitive you were very compassionate okay but there are chances that you focused all that love on yourself you know because you probably feel it's just not working out um i don't want to clarify more <clears throat> because this looks pretty good out here but yeah uh if they had a break okay if there was a break here where this person needed some time away from you if things were on pause out here this person is changing the way they perceive this connection they're changing their point of view they're changing that approach towards you they're trying to see things from a different point of view and eventually they're going to come in with that fresh energy out here but it will lead to something good it is leading to a, a new commitment uh, something stable something secure a person who has come towards you who is going to offer you a fresh new beginning with a lot of stability and security in it this is so good caps this is so good i love it all right good luck and